All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This all started last June when I drove out to Ohio to pick up a Canton cast crane that was made in the early 1910s or 1920s. I bought it off a of Facebook Marketplace from a guy out there in Ohio. So then I stopped in with my buddy Alex and went to the good guys in Columbus. And I actually met Jesse James, which is, if you didn't know, the whole reason of why I'm named everything the Pope of John Deere. Then I brought it back home. I started designing in CAD. I used my uh, Autodesk Inventor on uh, my laptop and designed the base and started designing it. And then I got GSM Industrial to cut me out the plate based on my drawings, cut out the base plate, and then I started fabricating. You can see I started with drilling the holes, use a little tap magic, some great lubrication, always use lubrication. Then I drilled out the holes for the rear casters and started from there. So the idea is, is I cut this out of half inch plate and then I'm going to weld this half inch flat bar. Uh, my friends at GSM Industrial got me uh, this material for me so I can weld it on. So I didn't cut this all out as a big U um, all at once just because of the amount of waste in the middle. Uh, it's more cost effective to do it this way and just weld it together. I made it so it has four inch legs here and then I'll just run a piece of flat bar there and then basically wrap the whole way around um, with a four inch flat bar vertical so I only had to buy the same similar material. So. I'm gonna set this down and we're gonna uh, do a little time lapse hopefully and we can see how this thing turns out. All right, so we got the base here. We got it welded up. We got the four inch wide flat bar welded to the plasma cut plate, um, grounded all smooth. I'm using the Build Pro fixture table. Uh, keeps everything square, flat. It just makes everything so much easier. And it's not even the ease, it's just mostly the time. It just saves so much time to do all of this. So uh, I have two stops there to keep the back, the back plate square to the table, which means that all of the runners are now square to it. As you can tell, this side's overhung. So what I'll do is I'll do this side, shift everything over, and then set up my stops over here and do this side. So just some of the little stuff that just makes everything so much nicer, like on this Build Pro, is all these little stops and clamps and squares I can set it up in a couple minutes. So it's now square here and square along the length. So the main concern I have is getting this front caster wheel in here, having a little bit of wiggle room, but also I'm gonna have to punch holes in these and put the bolt through it. So um, that's where I'm at now. Um, you can tell I left this a little long. So my idea is, is I'm going to put a, a plate here uh, so I wanted to leave it long, I'll do a weld, and then I'll trim off the extra, but I wanted to leave myself some room just in case I needed to add anything or, or shift anything. Um, these are both the short pieces, actually one's for the inside over here and one's for the inside on that side, um, but just to measure in the middle, I use these. So I have these cut to the proper radius length um, to give me the correct inside dimension in here um for the bushing in the middle so at some point i'm going to have to bend this to match this radius um, that's something that i'm going to have to figure out what i want to do for it um, whether i want to have gsm industrial do it on their bigger machines or whether i want to do it here and heat this up and bring this around um, right now i'm just measuring the distance here um, but just to give you an idea of kind of what we're building and then we'll bring it along the back edge and then cut across here and then I'll put a plate here vertically 
to match that. And then I have the holes drilled um, for the swivel casters in the back. So like I said, this is actually the bottom. Uh, when it's all done, we'll flip it over and then I'm gonna have to drill the holes here um, to mount the actual crane to go up from that. Um, so this is where I'm at. We're gonna keep going here and see. All right, guys, we're back. We're in the shop. So uh, we got this all welded up uh, on the inside, got the corners rounded. Um, right now, this piece is what I was going to do next. I was just gonna continue this radius around and go here. And then this line between the two casters, I was gonna put a vertical support but I believe that I'm going to change this design and put a piece the whole way from the back, the whole way to the front, and then I'll connect with two smaller pieces this way. Um, the main idea with that is this gives it strength um, this way. Uh, obviously, I want to keep it centered. Um, more than likely, the two sets of holes will end up on either side of that. Um, and we'll still be able to access it, but it'll still give us the most amount of strength, but still leave us enough room to have the casters spin. So heated these up uh, with the torch, bend it a little bit, welded it, bend it a little bit, welded it, and kept on going. Um, it turned out pretty well, uh, considering how crude it was. Um, I still need to clean up all the slag and all that stuff. Um, this piece in here, uh, I need to weld on that side. This side's welded. Um, you can see I put supports in there, uh, not only to space the two legs, but also give it some support. Um, I put a small space, uh, small plate across the weld seam, uh, welded it around just to count of spreading that load out, uh, going from the back plate to the flat bar going forward. Uh, just to get, help it give it some strength. I don't really think it's an issue, but um, if you can add more weight and more metal, more better, as they say. Um, this Build Pro fixture table was a huge help um, keeping everything square, flat, straight. Um, I'm excited to get this project done off the table, flip it over and, and see how it rolls and set the crane down on it and see how it looks. Um, you can kind of see um, how we did it uh, as far as radius goes. These inside ones, I actually made a wood buck for it and drawn them around. Um, also used the propane forge off of Amazon, um, like super cheap, shipped to your door in two days. Um, not a blacksmith, but I have a forge. But um, bent these up, real tight bend. These came out really good. Um, I have still have to weld all the way around the outside, both. All right, so I got this tacked in. I just wanted to show a great tool that I've been lucky enough to have been gifted by my lovely fiance, Cassifras, for Christmas one year. These fireball minion squares. So I have two of them here. Um, you can see they have a 90 degree and a 45. But these little tabs that you can move around just by simply loosening the set screw, turning them, and tightening them. They're great for stuff like this. So it keeps it square, but also height-wise the same and perfectly perpendicular. Um, and then, like, if I wanted to put a crossbar here, I could use that and just clamp it right off of it. So with one clamp, I'm perfectly square and parallel and everything is where it should be so 
it works out easy. Anything like this that I can buy and spend a few dollars on that can save me hours upon hours down the road, it's a great investment and great use of money and time because as we all know, time is money. Check out Fireball Tools on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. He's got a great channel and does great tools, everything high quality stuff. Um, and if Mr. Fireball sees this, feel free to send me a few more of these and anything else I might need. Um, but these are great tools. Go get you some. All right, so this is me just welding everything together, squaring it up, shortening some stuff, cutting it to size, whatever needed done. So I changed my design a little bit. I wanted a longer flat bar going basically in line with the crane just to give it a little bit more vertical strength. Um, you can see here it is all welded together. All my measurements were actually correct thanks to uh, putting it in the CAD, designing it, spending the time in the design lab, you know, putting it in the computer properly pays off a lot down the road like this all the casters fit uh, you can see the front and rear ones all together um, it worked out really well and I'm real happy with how it turned out So as you can see, that thing cuts like butter. Iron Worker, made by Metal Pro, right here in the good old USA. I believe they're out of Wisconsin. They're great uh, for the price range with them. Um, this thing is 45 ton. It'll shear four inch wide, half inch plate like nothing. As you can tell, um, I punched the holes for the front casters with it. Uh, it's three quarter inch hole through a half inch plate like it's nothing. Um, I have different dies and whatnot. Um, I can shear round bar, angle iron, flat bar, um, punch a hole, round, square, oblong, star, whatever dies I get. Um, and it all plugs into a 110 outlet. So this thing's been a great asset to the shop. And uh, I look forward to using it for projects like this and more in the future. So this is me moving the gantry crane over the top of the Build Pro table, trying to lift it off. I used a lifting magnet that uh, obviously did not work and slight OSHA violation. I was trying to lift it vertical and according to my good buddy Ringer, he uh, said that that is a big no-no. So. Here it is, finally got off the table and uh, about ready to marry it together, but that'll be the next video and we'll continue on then. Like, subscribe, tell me what I did wrong, tell me what I did right, tell me what you want to see. Like, subscribe, YouTubies, deuces.